capital murder in the death of 68-year-old Adilado Bernabe Urias. When three men robbed and shot him multiple times. I'm here now, you know? Bananas. Hold me down here. Let's get started. Have a show. I'm from East New York, Brooklyn. Take a lot of pride in my neighborhood, you know? Those you that haven't been there before, keep it that way. And I wanted to do a whole bunch of stupid shit. I can't have that, it's gonna ruin my street cred. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like we, we kind of friends. But I still might shoot you. I flush the product down the toilet. And I chose to do this. But just understand, a son of an immigrant, and that's why I'm immigrant made. One man is seen pulling a gun on a 31-year-old named Richard Cepeda inside the lobby. A second man punches Cepeda in the face as he tries to run away from the building. The man with the gun then fires shots as the victim runs away. Cepeda was pronounced dead at the hospital. It all happened Thursday around 9.30 p.m. So far, no arrests. Him, police say, is this man you see walking down Elliott Place, where he followed a 27-year-old woman into her apartment, slammed her up against a wall, and attempted to rape her. The young woman received a slight laceration to her face, but hopes the suspect takes responsibility himself. Five men surround Esvin as he was making a delivery. They threw him to the ground and began to beat him up. They steal $70, take his e-bike, and then they stab him in both legs. To give them everything, or else they'll kill me. Of one of the suspects, in hopes that someone recognizes him. Even with these stab wounds in both legs, Esvin managed to make his way back to the pizzeria for help. Esvin paid 500 very hard-earned dollars for that e-bike that was stolen.